Hey everyone, welcome back. With the current generation of retro handhelds, we can now play PSP at full speed. As our handhelds begin to mount up, don't you think it'd be nice to share the experience with a friend? In today's video, we'll see how well we can get PSP running in multiplayer. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. For the best experience, we'll need a phone that can create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can use the home Wi-Fi, but it may be laggier than this solution. So you want to get into developer options. And for this smartphone, we need to press on advanced settings. And then move down. And there it is. For better performance, we want this set as on. And now to create a hotspot. On this phone, it's called portable hotspot. Check up here. And then set up portable hotspot. Now we're going to set the security to WPA2. And then set a password. So we'll use B U T T F A C E. And then hit the check mark. For the first test, we'll use the RetroPocket 3 and 3 Plus, which are both compatible with the 5 GHz network. So with our portable Wi Fi now set up, we're going to direct from the top and then long push on the Wi Fi symbol. Now to select the hotspot and then type in the password B U T T F A C E. And now to connect with the other handheld. Now we can see that they're both connected, we're going to find the IP address of the faster device. This will act as our host for the network game. So push advanced and scroll down until you can see IP address. Remember the number that's on your system and then open up PPSSPP. For today's test we're going to use OutRun 2002 Coast to Coast and as we have the graphics already set up, we'll need to load up the game and then push L2 to get back to the screen. Do this on both systems and for our host we're going to go to game settings and then networking. Select the options, enable networking and built-in pro ad hoc server. Change the address just underneath to the IP address we saw earlier. And then do the same for the other handheld. This number here needs to be same as the host. Then exit out to the main menu and then restart our game. Now go to multiplayer and then you need to use ad hoc or wireless mode. We'll use our host to create the game lobby. Then connect with the other. And now we can start our game. Two-player mode worked pretty well, but then some of our friends arrived. They came completely unannounced, and yeah, they expected a bit of a party. So we had food and drinks, and little monkey here got a bit drunk. You what? I only had one! Yeah, one bottle of whiskey. I wanna play a game! Have you got any retro monkeys? Well, we have a few handhelds. Let's see how all these perform together in ad hoc mode. Oh, yeah, Wade! Mama. We used 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, and all versions of PPSP were not identical, but each one managed to connect. Their performance varied drastically. From decent, to an absolute mess. If you're serious about playing PPSP in a group, use 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Capable machines... I'm cruising with a Ferrari! ...have all versions of PPSP the same, <laughs> or end up with one ruined party. Game over, man! Game over! This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! I can't believe that you didn't invite me to your party. Was a sausage fest anyway?